Hello, you are welcome. Today we have to solve the most interesting math question that is m square minus n square is equal to 15 and we have to find the value of m and n. So to solve this uh, interesting question, solution. Now the question is uh, m square minus n square is equal to 15. We have to solve this interesting question. Now, we know that to solve this uh, interesting question, this is in the form of uh, a square minus b square, which is equal to a plus b times a minus b. Now here, we have to apply this identity here. So this will become m plus n times m minus n is equal to 15. So here this will become m plus n times m minus n which is equal to 15 now we have to factorize this 15 as 15 times 1 which is equal to 15 and also 1 times 15 which is equal to 15 and also 5 times 3 is equal to 15 and 3 times 5 is equal to 15 so these are the different factors of 15 now we know that here uh, m plus n is always greater than m minus n so to apply this condition here the case number first this is possible because here the first number is greater and this is case number second which is impossible because here the first a number is smaller so this does not obey the condition uh, like m plus n is greater than m minus n so here the case number third is the first is greater so this is possible and this is not possible so here these, these are the two cases case number first and case number second we have to solve the answer of and the value of m n from these two cases so first of all we have to solve the case number first which is m plus n times m minus n is equal to 15 times 1 so here case number first is m plus n times m minus n this is equal to 15 times 1 now he, look at here m plus n is equal to 15 and m minus 1 is equal to 1 so here from this equation m plus n is equal to 15 and m minus n this is equal to 1 to find the value of m we have to add these two equations so we add these two equations here this is positive and this is negative and this cancel with each other m plus m this is equal to 2m and 15 plus 1 is equal to 16 so here 2m is equal to 16 now we have to find the value of m uh, for we have to divide both side by 2 this side divided by 2 and this side divided by 2 this two cancel with this 2 and 2 times 8 is equal to 16 so therefore m is equal to 8 so this is the value of m from the case number first now we have to find the value of n to find the value of n we have to subtract the equation number 1 from the equation number 2 so therefore m plus n is equal to 15 m minus n is equal to 1 we have to subtract these two equations so here this is negative this is positive and this is negative here this positive m negative m cancel with each other n plus n is equal to 2n which is equal to 15 minus 1 is equal to 14 now to find the value of n we have to divide both side by 2 this side divided by 2 and this side divided by 2 to cancel with 2 2 times 7 is equal to 14 so here n is equal to 8 sorry 7 n is equal to 7 so here the value of m is 8 and the value of n is 7 so here m n this is equal to 8 7 so this is the value of m and n from the case number first now we have to solve the case number second the case number second is m plus n times m minus n is equal to 5 times 3 so this is the case number second we have to write the case number second and from this case we have to find the value of m n so here the case number second is m plus n m plus n times m minus n this is equal to uh, 5 times 3 so this is the case number second so here 
according to this equation m plus n is equal to uh, 5 and m minus n is equal to 3 so here m plus n is equal to 5 and m minus n is equal to 3 to find the value of m we have to add these two equations so here uh, this n cancel with this n 2m is equal to 8 and to find the value of m we have to divide both side by 2 this side divided by 2 and this side divided by 2 to cancel with 2 here 2 times 4 is equal to 8 m is equal to 4 so this is the value of m from the second case now we have to find the value of n for that we have to subtract these two equations so here m plus n is equal to 5 and m minus n is equal to 3 so we have to subtract uh, these two equations so here this is negative this is positive this is negative so here m cancel with m negative m and here n plus n is equal to 2n which is equal to 5 minus 3 is equal to 2 so here this side divided by 2 and this side divided by 2 to cancel with 2 and this to cancel with this 2 so here n is equal to 1 so this is the value of n so from the case number second the value of m n is 4 and 1 so this is the answer from the second case now we have to verify our answer either these answer are correct or not so let's verify first of all we have to check the answer from the case number first which is m is equal to 8 and 7 is equal to, uh, m is equal to 8 and n is equal to 7 we have to solve this or uh, check verify this and after that after that we have to check our answer from the case number second which is m n is equal to 4 and 1 so let's check our answer first of all we have to check uh, the case number first which is m is equal to 8 and n is equal to uh, 7 so here the question is uh, m square minus n square is equal to 15 and from the case number first m is equal to 8 and n is equal to 7 m is equal to 8 and n is equal to 7 now we have to put these values in the equation number first so this will become m is equal to 8 so here 8 square minus 7 square is equal to 50 now 8 square is equal to 64 minus 7 square is equal to 49 which is equal to 15 and finally 64 minus 49 is equal to 15 which is equal to 15 so this shows that the case number first and the value of m in 8 and 7 are the correct values now after that we have to solve the, to check the case number second which is m is equal to 4 and n is equal to 1 so let's check the case number second here second case is m is equal to 4 and n is equal to 1 so the question is m square minus n square is equal to 15 to, to put the value of m in here so here 4 square minus 1 square is equal to 15 and finally 4 square is equal to 16 which is equal to sorry 16 minus 1 is equal to 15 and 16 minus 1 is equal to 15 which is equal to 15 this shows that uh, the value of m n from the case number seconds are also the correct value of m and n thank you for watching please subscribe the channel thank you bye bye